Hello and uh, welcome to AEM 250 920 Distance Learning Plus. Uh, my name is uh, Yasir Alfat Papun. You can also call me Dr. Papun. I will be your instructor for this uh, AEM 250 distance, distance Learning section this spring semester. A uh, little bit of introduction about myself. Uh, I am an instructor at the Aerospace Engineering and Mechanics Department, University of Alabama. I completed my uh, PhD in Aerospace Engineering and Mechanics and uh, after completing my PhD, I have been working uh, as a faculty here at UA. My bachelor's uh, was in Aerospace Engineering 2 and uh, that I did back in uh, Bangladesh and then uh, for my PhD, I came to US and uh, here I am right now. So. Uh, I have been teaching this course uh, over the last couple of semesters, so this could this is gonna be my I think seven or eighth course. So I have a little bit of experience of teaching this course, and the way we have uh, designed, I think you would uh, enjoy the course and learn some valuable things that you can use in your uh, future life. Okay, so the the page that I have right now. This is our Blackboard course homepage. Uh, if you log into Blackboard and click on 2021 10 AM 25920, uh, this will take you to this window. Okay, so what I am seeing right now, this is the uh, student view. So you'll be exactly looking at the same thing what I am uh, seeing right now. Okay. So uh, it will start with some sort of announcements and later on uh, you, you can start here. All right. So the video I'm making right now, I'll put it uh, under the welcome video and there you can find your course schedule. If you click on item number two, this will take you to the uh, course schedule. You can also find the course schedule from our uh, here course menu all right if you go course schedule let me open that so this will also give you the the pdf file of our uh, course schedule so that means what lectures you're gonna follow on what dates okay so on this schedule this is here we have date wise lectures and you can see the the chapters or the module from your textbook. The topics that will cover on that uh, specific lecture and some recommended problems. Now, these are recommended problems, okay? This is not your homework. Homework would be separate. These problems would be helpful to, to understand the course and do well in your exams and uh, know better the topic. Okay, so so here you can see the exam dates and uh, all the important dates. Like our first exam is gonna be February third at seven. Second exam on March third and third exam April fourteenth. All three exams are scheduled at the evening, starting from seven p.m. So I'll talk about the exams uh, later on. And we also have our final exam. I, if I go to the main course page, if you go down, it will give you the final exam schedule, okay? So April 29, from 7 p.m. to 9.30, so you are getting two hours and 30 minutes for the final exam. And you'll be getting 90 minutes for regular in-class exams or regular mid-semester exams. Okay, so the first thing first, you'll start here. We have your course schedule and the exam dates. This is your final exam date. And what else? Syllabus. This is important, right? So if you click on syllabus, this will take you to our online syllabus management system. So here I have posted the syllabus and you can, you can learn all the important information from here. So about the book, you can either use the online ebook from Access Granted Rachel version, 
or if you prefer you can opt out from this online version and get a hard copy so if you are getting a hard copy book you should follow this mechanics of materials third edition by Roy, uh, Royer Craig all right so here you have the information here about the book and uh, blackboard panopto YouTube so all the videos would be there I'll, 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 I'll talk about those the course uh, topics we have uh, designed the course uh, in nine modules okay and you can take these modules as a chapter so chapter basically we're covering nine modules so maybe 12 chapters combined or packed into these nine modules there will be homeworks for this entire course and it will take uh, 10 to 12 homework three exams exams are for 90 minutes and final exam is of 2.5 hours and exam dates and time are on our course schedule so these are the regular regular exams and final exam would be on the home page april 29 7 to 9 30. okay so you can read through all these things uh, as you wish okay reading policy so you have homework uh, five percent there will be no makeups no drops homework will be posted in blackboard and you have to work on your paper scan your work create a pdf file and upload in blackboard three exams 60 percent so 20 20 20 total 60 and we have a comprehensive final exam of 35 percent all exams are handwritten exams okay so there will be no multiple choice questions everything would be handwritten and final exam is a comprehensive uh, you can say heavy duty exam with with all the concepts will be tested in that exam so we'll talk more uh, before each exams grade range policy on missed assignments if you are missing any homework or or an exam please let me know well ahead of time so that we can work together and come out with a schedule that works both for us okay so the first thing is you know the exam dates right now so you can you can schedule your time so that you can take the exam with the class and as soon as i post a homework i will give you three to five days to complete the homework if you cannot complete the homework uh, during those three to five days please let me know so that uh, i can i can give some extra time if needed if you have some uh, other things to take care okay so uh, all the things uh, are here on on syllabus uh, you are, you can go ahead and look into the all these things and if you have any questions uh, please let me know okay so after syllabus uh, okay the online book so this red shelf access granted if you click here this will take you to the online book version okay if you click access granted provided by red shelf you click there you should be able to access your ebook okay but I, I i have seen a lot of uh, students like to have a hard copy even i like to have have a hard copy of my own so if you want to have a hard copy okay you can opt out from this program okay let's find out our book first let's search mechanics okay mechanics and materials okay so if you click there view course materials then you can start reading all right so this will give you access now for me i think they have given lifetime access i don't know whether you will get their lifetime or not but you will have your access throughout the entire semester if you do not want this online book what you can do you can opt out so i'm going back to the home page red shelf there is another uh, pdf document i have attached if you want to opt out of this program the reason why i'm doing that if you do not opt out they will automatically charge from your student account okay so if you want to save some extra money just want to have the hard copy you can opt out and here is the instruction okay all right then 
submit your homework. So this is the this is the link or folder where I will post all your homeworks. Okay. So you go to the submit homework here, this section. So right now you can you can see two homeworks are already posted: homework zero and homework P. So homework zero, let's see what about that. If you click on a certain homework, it will give you the deadline and the homework file. All right. So you click on this file. So this is your first homework. This homework is based on the video that I'm making and all this course policy. So you 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 watch this lecture or watch this video go through blackboard and and know all the items in the blackboard okay and you just acknowledge that you you have read or watched everything and you understand all these policies and what else okay number 12 we're talking about the mid semester exams so I'm, I'm, i have given you the three exam dates and time so exams will be at specific time, all right? Specific time, 90 minutes exam starting from 7 to 8.30. These are the three dates. Final exam, final exam, uh, it will be 2.5 hours, April 29th. You will get 2.5 hours from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So if you are in a different time zone, please make sure you are following the US Central Time for your exam. Okay, so the first homework, which is homework zero, it just you read this document, right? Read this document and sign or acknowledge that you, you know all these policies, exam dates, and all the all the schedules. So that's it. That is your first homework. Okay. The due date, I think the due date I put it as January 20. Then uh Homework P, that is our homework on the prerequisite knowledge from statics. So mechanics of material is heavily dependent on your understanding of statics. Okay, so start mechanics from where statics ended. So this homework, uh, I put some uh, review kind of thing you can say. Okay, the first one, this is whether you can use equilibrium and find the reaction force at pin A and roller B and then draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this load case. Okay, number two, draw the shear force bending moment diagram, use equilibrium method, graphical method. Third here, uh, I asked about finding the location of centroid of a composite T-beam. And number four, finding the moment of inertia, and that is area moment of inertia, okay? Area moment of inertia for the T-beam in terms of the horizontal central axis, this dotted red line. Number five, if you shift your uh, point of interest from centroid to x-axis, what would be the moment of inertia? So whether you can use the parallel axis theorem or not. So this is your, uh, this are the things you would need in, in mechanics of materials. So uh, we expect you already know these things. So if you have taken statics a uh, long time back, you need to refresh some of those memories. Uh, you can watch lectures 16, 17, and 18. So these are under module for equilibrium of beams. Okay, so you can watch those just to refresh some of the concepts of statics and then uh, do this homework. So this will, this will really help us when we uh, go ahead and do our uh, mechanics and materials problems. So this homework uh, deadline, let's go and check. This homework deadline is, I put, I think, uh, January 18th, all right? So starting class January 13th, this is due on January 18th. Okay, so that's about homework and I'll be posting all the other homeworks here in this uh, section. There will be, as I said, 10 to 12 homeworks through the entire semester. All will be written homeworks. Now come to the exam section, okay? So how are we going to take the exams? If you click there, this will take you to the exam procedure. So we are conducting all online exams in this semester, okay? So to take the exams, you can take your exam at your home, but you need an external webcam 
and install the Logdown browser. Okay, so the questions will only be accessed through the Logdown browser and you must need a external webcam for taking the test. So this is what I took from your uh, initial information from my Burma. It said this course require a computer with an external detachable webcam. So this is for our uh, exam. So this is all about our exam procedure. So the questions will be posted inside this exam folder, exam one, two, three, and final exam right at 7 p.m. for the in-class exams one two three you will you can expect to solve three questions in each exam final exam you are solving five questions okay and you are going to use logdown browser to access the test and you have to have the external webcam with you so how these things are going to work at 7 p.m this exam link will open in Blackboard. You go to Blackboard with Logdown browser, having your external webcam on, then take the test under this uh, video surveillance for 90 minutes. Once your test is done, then you log off from the browser, scan your work, create a single PDF file, okay? Create a single PDF file, and then upload your work as a PDF file inside this exam folder. So these are all the important items I, I just noted here, okay? So exam schedule, from course schedule, you can know that. Logdown browser, if you click any of these links, this will take you to the uh, website, where, uh, university web website where they talk about how to use this responders monitor and logdown browser, okay? So th that will take you to the CIT website of our UA and you can get all the information here, okay? You can just check and let me know if you have any questions on any of these items. Okay, what else? Okay, uh, so when, when your 90 minutes test is done, you have to log off and you can use your regular browser, either Chrome, Firefox, Safari, uh, Explorer, whatever you have, to upload your work, all right? The 90 minutes test will be under the Logdown browser window. So I will create a demo test, a demo exam with all these procedures so that you can practice before the test and get used to the system, all right? And please practice the demo test. I haven't posted it yet, but when, when I post it, I'll let you know. And you should practice before your first test so that you are well aware of your exam procedure. Okay, so once again, exams are all online, but we're taking it under the lockdown browser with your external webcam at specific exam dates. So that about exams. And if you have some questions about this course or any, any items, probably uh, these are being answered here. These are the, some of the frequently asked questions. So you can check your question is there or not. If it's not here, you can always uh, send me a quick email and I should be able to respond uh, quickly, okay? And there are some of my notes, instructor's notes. So when I grade, what uh, I would look for when I'm grading your exams? What things you need to know for exam? Uh, some hints that will help you to be successful in this course. Okay, now if, if you go to the exam folder one more time, uh, let's go to exam one. So here you, you, you would see what are expected to know for the first exam. So I, will, I have already posted what should be expected to know for all three exams. Okay, so if you go to exam one, then if you move to exam number two, you'll get a similar document you go to exam three and final, you will get a similar document, what is expected to know for that specific exam. There will be three questions in each exam one, two, and exam three. And I will obviously post some review videos before each exam. 
So these are the some of the policies and some of the links where you can like, access for homework, exams, course schedule, book, syllabus, and your announcement section. Now the important thing is uh, how to learn those materials. Okay. So if you go down here, we have our learning module. So this is the this is the real thing where you're getting all the lectures. So if you go to introduction module. So these are again some of the uh, overview, course page, uh, homework formatting guidelines. And then let's look at the first module. So this is where our first module starts. Introduction to stress, strain and design. OK, so if you go down, if you go down the videos. So here we have all the lectures. All are arranged by lecture one, two, three, four, five. So you can get your lecture video as well as the PDF notes for that lecture. Okay, for each lecture, we have the videos and the lecture PDF notes. So you follow the schedule, you follow this course schedule, all right, and learn the materials by accessing these videos all right so the first day on january 13th you're i expect you to watch this first one introduction and normal stress january 15 you're looking at the strain and stress strain diagram that way you keep moving follow the follow the the schedule here and watch these videos okay if you have any questions Quickly send me an email and we can we can discuss so once you complete the first module go to the next module number two three four by this time you would have your exams so take the exam uh, I will grade it as soon as the exam is done the grades will be posted I will send you back your uh, graded exams also so that way we'll keep moving now if you remember there are some recommended problems right so these are not the homeworks, but some important, uh, I would say, exercise problems that helps to better understand the material. Now, a lot of these problems have already been solved by Dr. Barkey. Now, Dr. Barkey, he has uh, developed this uh, online materials and throughout UA, we, we teach the same material. So I have another, uh, in class sections so you exactly follow the same schedule and same lecture materials same problems so there is no difference between the online and in class sections in terms of homework class materials examples exercise all the things are the same so as you're saying some of these problems are already been solved so Dr. Barkey has been working on uh, AM 254 over, I think, 30, 40 years. So he has solved a lot of these problems. If you go to this additional practice problems, if you click there, here you will see a lot of those problems are already been solved. Okay. And these are arranged. I have put it, put this as chapter wise. This is chapter two. Look at the, the number of problems, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. So these are the uh, end section book, book problems, right? So let's look at the first one. Here we have problem 2.2, number two. So this is our end section problem 2.2 from our book. So this is being solved here. So you will see a lot of these problems, what I have noted in the recommended section has already been solved. Uh, here So when you when you do the practice you can also come back and check these videos whether it is it is solved here Now you might say do I need to do I need to watch all these videos? Not necessarily I would say you watch the lecture videos then practice two three problems from each each segment Okay, that should be a, a good approach to learn materials now the more you practice mechanics of materials the more you understand Mechanics of materials has a lot of materials to cover for the for the entire semester and 
I think you'd be amazed to, to see the amount of information, the amount of knowledge we, we, we learn from mechanics and materials. Only with this single course can, can help you a lot in your career. So you don't need to, re you don't really need to look at all these problems. Just look at the problems, the ones you need, the ones you feel like uh, you need some help, come back to these problems. And if it is not solved here, and you want me to explain or solve for you, send me an email. I will solve those problems and, 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 and share it with you. Okay, so lecture modules and the additional practice problems are, are being solved here. And any extra video that I make, I will put it under course videos, all right? Any extra videos means the, the introduction video I'm making I'll be uh, putting some more review videos before exams. So those review lectures should also be uh, posted under this uh, Panopto content. And I'll be sending out emails at different times. So that is all about our, our introduction. So when you get started, you start from the home page, know your course content, know your schedule, know the exam dates, know the exam policy, know the exam procedure, your homework submission system, and your exam system, and, and try to use all this help, all this additional information. So these are really helpful uh, to, to, to effectively learn mechanics and materials, okay? Now, that's all I think I have uh, to get started. And if you have any uh, questions or if you have any confusion about any item, uh, please send me an email and I'll be happy to uh, answer those. So the, uh, we are uh, a distance learning section, so we're not meeting personally, but I would like to be connected with you. Okay, send me emails if you have any questions at any point and so that we are connected and we, uh, I'd love to be a part of your of this learning procedure. Okay, so I think that's all I have uh, before we get started. Hopefully you have a good semester and thank you all.